All right, everybody, thank you for uh, attending today's webinar. We'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so again, this is a Moon Toast webinar. Uh, th the title is Behind the Scenes, How the Entertainment Industry is Tapping into Social. For today's webinar, if you want to chat about it on Twitter, which we certainly encourage, the hashtag today is social ENT, ENT being short for entertainment. Uh, entertainment would have made it too long and cut down on the good content we could have had coming through social. So uh, today's hashtag is social ENT. A little bit about Moontoast before we get started. So Moontoast activation marketing platform helps brands deliver engaging social experiences across all social channels and device types. We've been around for five years and we're headquartered in Boston, Massachusetts with offices in Nashville, Tennessee and San Francisco. We're fortunate to have been trusted by major brands in our five years of existence. Brands and verticals like uh, consumer product goods such as P&G, the media and entertainment space such as TBS, and the auto industry such as Toyota have all leveraged Muntos platform to be able to reach and engage their fans and customers across social and mobile devices. If you want to connect with Muntos across the social universe, it's pretty easy. We're pretty much Muntos just about everywhere, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. On Pinterest, you can find us at pinterest.com Muntos pins. On YouTube, you can find us at youtube.com slash Muntos TV. And on LinkedIn, linkedin.com slash company slash Muntos dash INC. My name is Marcus Whitney. I'm co-founder and chief business development officer of Muntoast. You can reach me by email at marcus at muntoast.com or on Twitter today at Marcus Whitney. And in Muntoast, we have a very simple process and approach. We've created this mobile first platform that enables brands to reward customers for promoting products to their friends on social media. The way that they promote it can be in a in variety of modes, but the key is that it's all about enabling brands to reward those customers on social media. Now, no matter what industry you're in today, incorporating social media into your marketing plans is no longer an option. But for the entertainment industry in particular, that opportunity is off the charts. According to eMarketer, digital advertising spending is expected to grow faster in media and entertainment than in any other U.S. industries. Digital ad spend for the media and entertainment industries is expected to hit $8.54 billion by 2018, and the projection for 2014 is just $5.15 billion. The main drivers behind the, the, the projected increases are the heavy use of video and rich media ads. These are two of the fastest growing ad formats by marketers of news media, movies, TV shows, games, and music. eMarketer points out that media and entertainment marketers are also big investors in mobile advertising, with mobile ad spending projected to reach $31.5 billion this year. Now, social channels have quickly become an extension of a brand's image, product, and voice, and that's for good reason. Today's audiences are increasingly digital and expect to engage with entertainment brands on a more personal level. Every day on social, we read someone talking about what new movie is coming out, the episode they just watched last night, or when a new game is being released. And here's the kicker. They're using social to broadcast these messages while they're in front of their television. According to the Cisco Visual Networking Index, while people are watching TV, 41% of them are looking up information on actors, plots, athletes, etc. on their tablets, and 29% are doing the same thing on their smartphones. 18% are reading discussions about a TV show on social media on their tablets, and 12% are doing that on smartphones. 12% of people are voting or sending comments to a live show on their tablets, and 9% are doing that on smartphones. And 17% of people are watching a certain show because of something they read on social that day on their tablets, and 10% are doing the same on their smartphones. We can't even just watch TV anymore without our mobile devices in our hands. 
The 2014 Mobile Behavior Report by Exact Target reported that on average, respondents were spending 3.3 hours a day on their smartphones. And in Mary Meeker's 2014 Internet Trends Report, she pointed out that there is an 81% growth in mobile data traffic, with video being a very strong driver. Supporting stats from the Internet's largest sites, like Google and Facebook, confirm that mobile has officially surpassed desktop. Now, social media is a powerful channel for brands across the entertainment industry because it instills authentic excitement and anticipation within their audience. Film, television, gaming, each, every form of entertainment is looking to build a loyal and engaged fan base, and they can tap into the huge social potential if they play their cards right. And a marketer's number one goal is to impact customers at the moments that most influence their decisions. So, how can marketers in the, in, in the entertainment industry leverage the power of social media and the shift to mobile devices to make the greatest impact with every impression? With Munto's social rich media ads, marketers can use social, networking tar social network targeting, which is superior, to pinpoint specific interest groups and then deliver highly branded, impactful, interactive experiences right within the social stream. Let me show you a few examples of how social rich media is working today to drive specific marketing goals in the entertainment industry. In order to drive ticket purchases, you can leverage social rich media to wrap a trailer video with a marketing banner, which can link to any URL destination, including deep links to native apps like Fandango. To boost trailer views, you can leverage social rich media to display multiple trailers or other video content in video galleries and video voting galleries to drive views and create preference. If the goal is to drive theater traffic, you leverage social rich media to use sweepstakes and giveaways to build your email list and send promotional offers or offer coupons for tickets, concessions, and other things that will be in the theater themselves. If the goal is to build viewership, leverage social rich media to preview content in a video gallery and direct viewers to RSVP to watch a show using a Facebook event. When the goal is to drive specific episodic tune-ins, you can leverage voting units to create democratic participation through second screen interaction, which will create a, a, a crowd-sourced a crowd, uh, outcome of the show. To boost social engagement, social rich media can present content from networks like Vine and Instagram across other networks in gallery or stream formats, growing views and virality. And finally, if you're trying to drive pre-order sign-up to get data from social networks to build your email list, use social rich media. Social rich media can power in-feed sweepstakes and giveaways, and then you can retarget relevant ads to those subscribers using custom audiences on Facebook and tailored audiences on Twitter. Social rich media has already proven itself to be superior to other forms of impact marketing because it leverages the two most powerful forces in marketing today, social and mobile. Munto's social rich media ad units have seen unbelievable results a 45% average conversion rate after expansion, almost unheard of. Very strong interactions, 3.51 ad unit clicks per expansion, and the ability to repurpose video that typically would only get views to drive real marketing goals like the ones we just talked about. Marketers are using social rich media and 60% of the ads contain video in them. Munto Social Rich Media has been used by some of the biggest brands in entertainment today, such as TBS, Lionsgate, Warner Brothers, Vivo, Fandango, and Ubisoft. A quote from a VP of social, of social Media Strategy and Innovation at TBS, Muntos has been a great partner in the Cougar Town campaign because of their expertise in social rich media, having created and pioneered the category. 
we are very pleased with the results. And here's a specific set of results for you. Vivo's hottest Latin music videos of summer campaign gave its social audience the opportunity to vote for their favorite for, for their favorite video from a selection of 10 popular artist video choices from 2013. The campaign was an innovative way to bring polling into people's news feeds while creating more awareness for the music artists and growing views. Fans could view different artist images and then vote for their favorite. The hottest Latin music videos of summer campaign offered a unique social experience to increase Vivo's brand awareness and affinity. User voting information and behavior contributed to determining ROI for the client. And the campaign results were astounding. A 13.69 far above average click through rate, 20, almost 30,000 video votes collected, and a voter conversion rate close to 45%. So these are the ways that brands today in the entertainment industry that are leading in social and mobile are leveraging social rich media in order to be able to drive superior results. And now we want to ask you some questions. We want to make sure that you have some questions that you can get answered around how social rich media can help you and your brand to drive results uh, in the entertainment industry. All right. Thanks, Christina. So we've got the first question here, which is, what are the social networks that social rich media can be used across? Um, so social rich media is supported across every major, so every major social network. Uh, so that would be Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Google+, Instagram, Vine, um, Pinterest, uh, and Tumblr. So we've, uh, we've launched campaigns across all those different channels. Um, Certainly, the combination of uh, the brand's uh, connection with the fans on, on a particular channel has a very strong impact on what the result is going to be of the campaign. Uh, but the ability to use social rich media across all of those channels absolutely exists. Okay. The next question is, how often can you or should you use social rich media in a campaign? So uh, social rich media is a fantastic impact complement to your native uh, post that you'll be doing on your on the various social networks. Uh, you'll be speaking uh, uh, consistently with your fans across all the social networks every day, I, I would expect, if you are a major entertainment brand. Um, when social rich media really matters is really at the, at the crux when you need to drive real marketing results inside of your campaign. You know that your consumers are going to be using their mobile devices. You need to create a mobile-first experience that's interactive, very, very friendly, and fast-loading on the phone, um, and really allows you to convey your entire brand experience, message, and what the opportunity for reward is for that fan. Um, so when it's time to really start to drive more, more views uh, of an online uh, trailer or of, of an actual show, um, if it's really time to uh, collect data for your CRM to be used across uh, a myriad of other marketing uh, uses, all of those are, are really great uses for, for social rich media. Um, the majority of the brands that we work with uh, use social rich media at least once a month, um, usually around twice a month, uh, really driving as like the cornerstone of, uh, of big campaigns that they're doing. Okay. Uh, this next question is, can you talk a little bit more about custom audiences and tailored audiences? Sure. So custom audiences and tailored audiences are ways on Facebook and Twitter, respectively, uh, to be able to use data that you own. Um, that could be an email address, it could be a phone number, or it could be an ID for Facebook or Twitter that you've captured um, in your own data set to be able to target a user on either one of those channels. So when you're able to do that, you can send a much more targeted message, um, make sure that the content is much more relevant to that specific person. Um, and combining that with social rich media is a fantastic, uh, a, a fantastic combination, usually because social rich media will give you a much longer time of interaction with a, a given social post. If you think about the way that the, the news feed works, you know, it's a constant flicking of the thumb on the phone, right? It's just moving from one image to the next image to the next image. And you know, if you're lucky, 
you uh, you know you will have had uh, your your image to be picked up and looked at for I don't know maybe three or five seconds. But once you click into a social rich media unit, the person's going to be there for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, watching the various videos, submitting their information to to be a part of a sweepstakes or a giveaway, um, and that's really really important. Uh, to be able to maximize your effort in the content and also the ad spend to be able to get the most time uh, with those eyeballs on your brand. Okay, we've got a question here from Jacob Jones. How different or the same should the messaging be on each different and unique platform? That's a fantastic question. Um, so certainly every platform has their own context. Um, uh, just as Twitter is kind of the what's happening uh, platform and Instagram is, uh, is a completely visual platform, um, the messaging should suit the medium. So, uh, so the, the power of social rich media is that it doesn't uh, corner you into a particular type of message. You can put any form of creative asset that you want into these, uh, into these units. Um, any type of video that you've created, whether it's something that, that feels very natural or, 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 or very, you know, very much like an in-the-moment shot that you've captured, or if it's a full-on scripted commercial, um, you would pick the right channel to be able to send that particular piece of video content, the, the imagery that you're going to be sending across, as well as what the opportunity is. Um, Instagram is not necessarily a, a platform where you see a lot of data collection. You know, it's really about views and branding and upper funnel activity. Um, we do see uh, great success leveraging Facebook to be able to collect data for sweepstakes. People are very used to that on that channel. And so catering the message and combining that with the right type of social rich media unit uh, is really, really important. Okay, uh, we have a question here from Stephen Butler. Have you ever seen in an attribution analysis across multiple channels that included social rich media? And how does social rich media compare to other direct to consumer mediums in that attribution analysis? That's a fantastic uh, question. So, one of the most powerful things about uh, social rich media is that it combines the hops. And I'll, I'll tell you what I mean by that. Um, in a typical execution that you would do in, um, uh, in, in social networking, especially if it's mobile, um, you're going to have multiple clicks that you're going to drive uh, the user to go through. And so, uh, you know, they'll see the post on, on social and then they'll have to click to some type of uh, uh, landing page, you know, if you will. And usually there's, you know, another experience that you're trying to drive them through. Um, usually none of those experiences are mobile optimized. Um, and so you're, you're then trying to figure out how you can tie back that initial impression back to the action. Um, one of the most important things that social rich media does is it compresses the goal from the initial point of impression. So generally speaking, if you're using social rich media, you never want to be more than kind of one click away from your conversion point. Um, and that's why social rich media enables you to collect data within the unit. Um, that's actually a very, very unique aspect of this ad format, almost from any other digital uh, display ad format, is that with social rich media, it's uh, a core part of, uh, of the ad format to be able to collect data that can be used within your CRM. So uh, whether you're using uh, your own attribution tagging or if you're using something like a Facebook, Facebook conversion pixel, all of that will exist all within the unit and it makes for really, really simple reporting and you don't have to worry about cookies or other types of weird types of attribution tracking when you're trying to track through the goals. Um, now, in terms of being able to drive uh, something like uh, ticket purchases through Fandango, uh, you know, we've seen really, really strong results compared to other models, um, primarily because the content is always optimized for mobile. Uh, one of the biggest drop-offs in conversion on mobile devices is that the content's simply not optimized for mobile. And even if it's designed uh, with mobile in mind, simple things that get missed, uh, like you know, making sure that the text is big enough for someone to actually read, uh, making sure that the, the clickable, the tappable area is large enough, all of those things uh, you know, end up being uh, much more uh, uh, difficult when you're using a format that is not fully mobile first and social rich media is mobile first uh, from its inception.
Okay, so we've got a follow-on question from that one, which is, uh, what type of tracking do you support in social rich media? So that's a that's a really important question for almost any major enterprise um, that is going to uh, support, you know, uh, tracking through uh, many different uh, types of analytic systems. Um, what's great about social rich media is that it's uh, it's a standard HTML5 uh, ad unit, and you can put your own pixels in there. Uh, as well as uh, depend on the, the pixels that Moontoast has. Um, so it's it's not uh, uncommon for a campaign to fly leveraging our social rich media that will have three or four different types of pixels within it. Um, and uh, it's very important that all of those pixels fire so that all the systems can track the conversion and track uh, the ROI on the media spend that went behind it. Um, so that is an important thing to know um, about specifically about uh, uh, social rich media that is that it fully supports all the existing tracking and attribution models that you have in place today. All right, this, this is a, a great question. Um, when repurposing content from other networks, does it grow the view count of the content? So this is um, this is this is actually one of the the the, the biggest goals that we get uh, from from media and entertainment marketers. You know, uh, there's definitely a uh, there's definitely a bandwagon effect that happens in online content where once the views hit a certain number, uh, people will see something just because they have a fear of missing out, right? They figure, oh, if 100,000 people have already seen this, then if I don't see it, I'm missing out on something, regardless of whether or not the content is any good. Um, or the ratings are even any good. In, in some cases, they want to see it just to see how bad it is. So um, leveraging social rich media to be able to grow um, content that may have gone stale, that's on YouTube or Instagram or Vine, uh, has been a big, big goal of, of the marketers that we've worked with. And, and actually, not just in the entertainment industry, but across industries, um, because we know the importance of growing that view count. Um, and in fact, we can confirm because we've done uh, very, very specific integrations uh, with the players, the YouTube player, the Instagram player, and the Vine player, that it does in fact grow the stats for all three of those players. Um, so the ability to, to kind of fly that content across Facebook, across Twitter, across Google+, Plus, um, and combine it inside of uh, an experience that lets you maybe combine three or four videos to tell a larger story um, and still get all the view counts boosted up that you need, uh, that definitely does work leveraging social rich media. All right, this is a this is a good question. Uh, so, can you use social rich media for A/B testing? So, absolutely. It's a it's a digital ad format, and so uh, A/B testing is uh, is a very important uh, uh, reason to use social rich media. Um, it is very very easy to fly a single unit type. So, let's just say we're talking about a video voting unit, um, and put many many different types of uh, videos in there. Even change the messaging and the branding. Um, connect pixels to all of the different versions of the units, uh, and then in real time, based on what the conversion is of something like, let's say, a vote, um, optimize your media spend towards the social rich media unit that is converting the best. Um, that's, a, that's a really, really important value statement for social rich media, um, and, uh, and absolutely A-B testing is, is critical. Um, our customer experience team, uh, which are experts in uh, flying these campaigns, typically will not just A-B test uh, the, the social rich media content, um, but also the, uh, the native post that is, uh, is going along with it. So the share image, the copy, um, you know, uh, every, every aspect of the campaign can be put into an A-B testing matrix to ensure that uh, through, uh, through data and through analysis and not through guessing, you can uh, get the biggest ROI on your campaign. All right, I think that might be the last actual question that we have. Yep, okay, Christine, that's the last question we have. Thank you. All right, great. So so for everyone who tuned in today, thank you so much for your time. Um, we do these webinars uh, uh, at least once a month. Uh, sometimes we, uh, we co-produce them with our partners, um, but uh, 
you can keep up with us on uh, on moontoast.com slash webinar and also on all the different social channels to know uh, when we'll be doing more webinars. Um, we really appreciate your time. Hope that you uh, you got a lot of value out of spending this half hour with us. Um, and if you want to find out more about Moontoast, please shoot us an email at hello at moontoast.com. So thank you very much and everyone have a great day.